In this video, we're going to talk about how you can implement parallax animations in your React apps. There is a super cool library called Frame Emotions that is built on top of React that makes your life super easy when you want to implement animations for your React projects. It offers a nice set of APIs and hooks with which you can build animations from scratch for your React apps. Unfortunately, this only works for React apps as Frame Emotion is built on top of React. This will not work for Vue.js or AngularJS apps. For this video we are going to use the official parallax animation example from frame motion docs and we are going to re-implement that using a non-animated version of the same app i will add the code sandbox links to both the animated and the non-animated versions of the app in the description below you can go take a look and play around with it so here you can see the official parallax example from the frame motion documentation you have an image and you have a text that's right in front of the image and as I scroll, you can see that the text moves a bit faster than the image. And this gives the effect of parallax. Also, at the end of the page, you can see a nice progress bar that expands and contracts based on the scroll progress of the page. There is a snappy scroll in place. Uh, we will also see how to implement that with one-liner CSS. This is the non-animated version of the app. I have removed all the frame of motion animations from this app. I've only kept the style sheets from the official parallax animation example, made this into a completely non-animated version of the app. If I scroll, there is nothing happening and there is no scroll snap and there is no animations involved because we're going to implement everything from scratch. When I scroll this container, I want my text to scroll a bit faster than the image. For example, here you can see that div is the container that's being scrolled. So I'm going to attach a ref so that I can track the scroll of this container. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use use ref null and I'm going to attach the ref to this div now it's time for us to track the scroll of this div so for that we are going to use an interesting hook called use scroll hook i'm going to use the scroll wide progress and i'm going to attach the target as the ref we can also use another hook called use motion value event this will tell you what's the value of the scroll wide progress in this current scrollable container the scroll y progress value ranges from zero to one based on this what we can do is we can transform the text to move up and down let me show you how you can do that we're going to implement a simple function called function parallax it takes the input from zero to one and converts it into an output range in order to use the frame of motion animations, you can only use them on top of frame of motion components. Now, if I just slap my Y there, the transformation is being applied. That's it. It's as simple as that. We have implemented parallax animation successfully. So now we're going to take the scroll by progress of the whole page, not just the container and then simply apply my scan X tile based on the scroll Y progress. Take the scroll Y progress, and then you can attach a use spring transition on top. Let me just scroll up and down. You can see that there is this damping animation on top. Here you can see that there is this property you can apply to your whole HTML page and it says Y mandatory, and that's it. Now you can snap from one container to the next container, your scroll animation and your parallax animation is working as expected. Hopefully you liked this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I will talk to you soon.